Hi, welcome to my video and today I'm gonna talk about and show you uh, what are scenarios in Excel. Uh, now, uh, you can use scenarios if you have several sets of uh, the same type of data and you just want to use one layout for those sets of data. You don't want to use a few worksheets. Now, it's important to note that scenario is not for any specific purpose. You can use scenario as creatively as you like. Let's just jump into it. Now, for example, over here, I have a, a hypothetical example of, uh, let's say I have two products, <coughs> two types of tables, a large table and a small table. And I want to uh, display and keep that set of data using this layout in this particular worksheet only. So what I can do is I can first set up the layout like this. And uh, this is the formula that uh, gives me the total area of the table, right? So it can be any formula that you are using, uh, any formula that calculates whatever that you are uh, storing in this uh, worksheet. Uh, now let me just uh, store the raw data in the background. Now to use scenario, I just have to click on data, click on what if analysis, and click on scenario manager. Okay. Click on add to create a new scenario okay give it a name so i'm just going to call it a uh, large table changing cells now changing cells uh, refers to those cells uh, that uh, contains raw data that are different for the different sets of data so in this case it will be the product name the length and the breadth so for a large table it will be a different specification for a small table it will be a different specification so those cells that contain those data are known as changing cells so i'm going to delete whatever's inside here okay i'm going to select these three cells here all right now if the cells are not side by side what you can do is you can use a comma so for example product right and comma and you can select these two cells continuously like that okay so uh, click OK and the dialog box will prompt you for the raw data so B3 is the product name so I'll just put large as the product name now the length in CM it, that, that could be like for example 100 centimeters by let's say 50 meters so click OK. So there you are. You have one set of data. Now for the small table, I'll just do the same thing again. Click on Add. So this time it's small table. Give your scenario a name. Changing cells would be the same as the first one. Click on OK. And you'll be prompted for the raw data so small okay for this one let's say the length is 50 and let's say the breadth is 25 click on ok so i have two scenarios and you can go on to create the third the fourth and the fifth scenario uh, to view those scenarios you'll just have to double click on the name for example, small table, double click, okay, and there you go, and that's the total area, right? Large table, double click, right? So you'll just have to close the scenario box, and if you want to view the different sets of data, just go back into your data menu, what if analysis uh, command, click on scenarios manager, and double click on any of the scenarios that you want to um, view. So that's it, that's what you can use scenarios for. Now, uh, just to drive home the point, I have some notes here which I want to show you. Uh, so, scenarios can be used uh, for these ideal situations. Now, if you want to have less worksheet clutter, you don't want to use too many worksheets. Uh, and if you want to do away with uh, the hassle of hiding and unhiding of worksheets, otherwise you'll have to hide the, the large table scenario and you, you, you have to display the small table scenario and unhide and redisplay and so on so by using the scenario uh, feature you don't have to do that right now if you just need one layout 
uh, and the advantage of that is you don't need to change multiple layouts if uh, let's say you just want to change the title your product specifications to item specification if you use several layouts you probably have to change all of them so here you only have one layout so you'll just have to change it here and that's it and last but not least when you uh, usually view only one set of data at a time and I, so I think scenario would be an ideal situation for you to use that so these are some ideal situations that uh, 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 basically allows you or rather um, uh, that, that, that's ideal for you to use scenarios and like I mentioned earlier it's not for any specific purpose uh, use it as creatively as you like so here's another simple example of what a scenario might be for okay, forecast for next year forecast sales forecast expenses and forecast profit so I've already pre-created the scenario uh, scenario manager over here there you go best case likely case so that's the likely case that's the best case and double click on worst case so that's the worst case over here right so that's another example just to show you that it's not specifically just for specifications of products now uh, if you've noticed earlier when I added a scenario um, for this case the changing cells are b3 and b4 the cells that contain the final answer which is the formula that calculates the final answer or the intermediate answer are never the changing cells. Changing cells are cells that are left empty if there are no raw data. So the cells that contain formulas that calculates on those raw data are not changing cells. So don't include them into the scenario uh, changing cells when you are creating the scenario. right? Changing cells here. Do not include the cells with uh, formulas as your changing cells only those cells with the raw data so that's my final note do like and comment on this video subscribe to this channel and hit the notification icon